Hey, hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Okay, let me see if it'll go away. If it pops back up. Okay, there we go. How is everybody doing? Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you all so much for coming. Hey, Jen. Hey, Lisa. How are you? How are you? Hey, Sue. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. How is everybody doing? Hey, Regina. How are you? Marquetta, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in. Hey, Sandy. Yes. Hello, hello, hello. Awesome. Hey, Yolanda and Pam. All y'all so coming in so fast. Woo, I can't hardly see the chat. I am streaming. If I'm going back and forth, I am streaming both on YouTube and Facebook. Awesome. Let me see if I can turn this just a little bit more that way. Okay. That's a little bit better for there. Okay. Chris is in the house. Hey, sunshine. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, Danielle and Doopy. Hello. Yes. Hey, Linda. How are you? Hey, Buddha. Awesome. Awesome. So glad to see all of you all here. Don't forget to uh, thumbs up the stream over on uh, YouTube side. Give it a like. I'd appreciate it. I have 177 people in the stream and 45 thumbs up. Yes. Awesome. 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 Don't forget to like it over on the Facebook side. I appreciate that. Yes. Thank you all so much. Yes. 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 Thank you, Sue. I appreciate it. Hey, Tammy. Thank you for all those wishes. Hey, Tennessee. Nikki. Welcome in. Welcome in. How you doing, girl? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, Anne Marie and Cynthia Young. Hello, LaDonna and Maxine. Roseanne, yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much. Hey, Wanda, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Awesome, awesome and amazing. I have kind of started already. We are going to make a chocolate waffle cake with strawberries and cream cheese frosting. So I didn't want everything to take up time. So I've already pre-made my icing. Plus that's noisy. That's noisy. <laughs> that's noisy with the mixer. And I've also pre-made my uh, strawberry compote that I'm going to put on top. So that's in the freezer. So I have to check it. I don't want it to actually freeze, but I do need it to really cool down. And I knew, do need it to stiffen up a little bit, but I don't want it frozen. So I, remind me <laughs> after so long, go check on the strawberries. Yes. Hey, Audrey, thank you so much for all the wishes. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Awesome and amazing. Yeah, hey, Debbie, thank you for the stars. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yes, awesome, awesome. Hey, Margaret, welcome in. Serena, thank you for those stars. And Carol, thank you. Awesome, thanks, Carol. Yes. Hey, Psalms 146, welcome in, welcome in. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so we won't be here all day. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and um, get started. How about that? So we're making chocolate waffles this morning. Chocolate waffle cake. Oh, I forgot to get, let me grab my actual cake pan that I'm going to need. Hang on for a second. I don't need this part. Let's see. I felt like I was forgetting something. Yes. Hey, Sickness some Soil. Hello. Hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. That's one of my channel members. You guys go and uh, give her some blessings today. That's Sifting Some Soil and more. Her name is Mona. She has a wonderful channel. Yes. Oh, thank you, Life is Toya, for that super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy, happy you day. Many, many wonderful wishes. Thank you so much. I appreciate Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for all the stars over here on Facebook side. That is amazing. Yes. Awesome. 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 If I miss anybody going up in the live, um, just holler back at me. <laughs> Charge it to my head, not my heart. Charge it this morning to my eyes, not my heart. So let's go ahead and get started. So in here, I have some all-purpose flour. And I always say this, 
but sometimes I forget and you all are so kind to come back in my comments and remind me, put the recipe in there. So I will post the recipe on Facebook when I actually post the full video and I will post the recipe in the description on YouTube. If you don't know where the description is, if you're actually watching the video, you look right below it, you'll see where I start talking about it or something, and you'll see the words that say show more. If you click the words that say show more, it will expand, and then you can actually see the recipe and what's in the description. I don't know why they have it where you just can't see it automatically. And on the Facebook side, when I actually do the post up under the title, I can put it there. I didn't realize I could actually put it there, but I can put it there. So that's where it will be for both of you all. That way I don't have to talk about any measurements or anything like that. But right now I have some flour right here and I'm going to mix in some cocoa powder with it. Yes. Hey, Christina, you are so welcome. Yeah, I wish it was me making. Oh, that would be wonderful, uh, Jennifer. That would be absolutely wonderful. Get some cocoa powder in here. You want it real chocolatey. But not too chocolatey. <laughs> okay, that should do it. And I'm going to kind of set stuff aside as I use it. That will give me more room because I have everything up here. So I'm going to whisk this in really good, mix it with your flour, mixing my cocoa powder in with my flour really, really well. Thank you all. Thank you for thumbing up the stream over here. I appreciate that. Hey, Elaine, how are you? Hey, Dolores, thank you for those wishes. Yes, hey, Stephanie, awesome. Try to combine your flour with your cocoa powder until it is really, really well combined. And can everybody hear me okay? I know I ask that every week, but every week something else is happening and going on. And so I don't know. So let me know. Put a two, put a two in the chat on both sides if you can hear me okay. I see that you can probably see me okay because I see me okay. <laughs> yes. Hey, Jane, how are you? How are you? Hey, Tom, how are you? Yes, we hear you. Thank you, Mona. Thank you, Sifting some Soil. Thank you so, so much. Hey, Cindy. Wish you a few of your tips. Thank you so much. Awesome. Glad you all. I'm glad the tips and things are being useful to you all. That's amazing. And I appreciate uh, the support that you all give me. Okay, so that's pretty much mixed in. So we're going to go in with some sugar. Don't ask me why I do that. <laughs> People always say, why should you do that when you're doing a video? I can't help it. I like doing it. It's fun, okay? <laughs> And I am truly a kid at heart, so it's fun. Yes. Hey, Latricia. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Hey, Rhonda. So go ahead. After you put everything in each time, make sure you give it a good whisk so you can stir it in really, really well. Thank you. Yes. Awesome. 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 So that was our sugar in here. And I'm going to heat up my waffle iron shortly here so that it can get good and hot before we put our mix in it. Make sure it's incorporated from the bottom. Okay, so now I'm going in with some baking powder and some salt. <laughs> I couldn't help it. The salt won't come out. It won't come out, y'all. I don't want to use that. Let me get a spatula right quick. It won't come out, y'all. See, if I was doing a video, I have to redo it because it didn't come out. <laughs> okay, so. We're going to set these aside. Whisk that in really, really good. I don't know. I know. I meant to tell you that the other day. Uh, sifting some soil when we were talking. I meant to mention that. And we kept talking and stuff. And I forgot. It sure is. <laughs> and matter of fact, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Sifting Some Soil. Absolutely. If everybody can throw up some birthday emojis for Sifting Some Soil and more, her birthday has, uh, I believe if I got it right, just passed a couple of days ago. And so, therefore, if you all could throw up some birthday emojis and wish her a happy birthday, that would be amazing because her birthday just passed. Okay, so we got all that incorporated in. So that was the flour, the cocoa powder, the baking powder, salt, yeah, that's it. Flour, cocoa powder, sugar, sugar, baking powder, and salt. 
that's really first incorporate that. One thing about waffles, you don't have to mix your um, you're so welcome, uh, Mona, sifting through soil. You are so welcome. You don't have to mix your wet ingredients and your dry ingredients. After you get your dry ingredients mixed, uh, incorporated together, then you can just go ahead and add in your wet ingredients. So I'm going to start with my eggs, two eggs. And I'm going to crack them in this one first. Just in case you have a bad one, I always like to crack them in something first. That way, you don't have to worry about, uh-oh, you just messed up all your batter. Because you look in there and you be like, I don't want to eat that. It has happened. Okay, they're fine. This out the way. Oh, and just like I mentioned earlier that I have my strawberry compote in the freezer, and please don't let me forget it, I also have some chocolate that's warming up. Keep uh, You'll see the container, but I keep a container of melted chocolate in my refrigerator. So whenever I'm making something and I want a chocolate drizzle or a little chocolate for whatever reason, it's there. All I have to do is heat it up. It's sitting in a... Um, jar of hot water. So I don't want to forget it either. It'll be fine though because it's just chocolate. As soon as I take it out, it's going to start solidifying again anyway. Okay, so moving right along. That was the eggs. We're putting in some oil. This is just vegetable oil. If you don't want to use vegetable oil, you can use canola oil or whatever oil you want to use. Um, but this is vegetable oil. <laughs> okay. And we've got some vanilla extract, that in there. And we have milk. Now we're going to whisk all this together. Let me move all this aside. And I might need a spoon, but we're gonna see how this whisk does. We're gonna whisk it together. Then after we whisk it together, then we'll turn on our um, waffle iron, heat it up, and let your batter sit a little bit so it can kind of soak up some of that water. Hey, Joe. Hey, Garden State Garden. How you doing, Joe? Welcome in. Welcome in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. And I do not like these whisks until I'm almost incorporated here. So I'm going to grab me a spoon. Could use that. I'm gonna grab a spoon right quick. Then I'll whisk it in the end if I need to. I don't want to sit up there. I'll sit right here. Ah, this is much better for me much, much better. And my pinky is healing well, but it is still sore, so it's kind of hard for me to stir as well. What kind of cake? Um, it is a chocolate waffle cake with strawberry compote and cheese cream icing, frosting, icing, whatever. So, honestly, this hurts my hand, so we are going to be probably a little bit longer Try to mix this with my left hand. I'm not left handed. But this is hurting my pinky. So it's healing. I don't have anything on it because it's pretty much, um, what do you call it? Uh, scabbed over, so to speak, or whatever. It did come together as if it had stitches in it or something, but it's pretty much almost healed. And they told me to take the bandage off. Lead off, <laughs> let it get some air. Okay, so ah, this is a very thick batter. So I am probably going to add a little bit more milk in here because it needs to be a little bit creamier. I 
fact, I might add a little bit more oil and milk. I'll see. I'm going to add a little bit more milk in here. Let me see. It's delicious. Probably should be measuring this, but uh, well, okay. <laughs> See if I can stir this and give my right hand. Yes. Ooh. I might have to. I might have to step over there to the side for a second and blend this with my mixer because it's awful hard to mix with my left hand and my right hand is hurting. So. Give me a minute. I'm going to blend this up with my mixer right quick. I can't do this with my hand, with my left hand, and my right hand is hurting too much. So we don't want to hurt it no more, okay? Okay, so. Hey, Uno, how are you? I haven't seen you in a long, long time. How you doing there? How are you doing? Okay, so let me get my mixer set up over here right quick. Grab this, grab this, I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully that will do it. I apologize for that little delay. Okay, we are officially back. Let me go ahead and plug up my uh, thingamajig here. My island thing does not have electricity to it, so I have to go off to plug things up and things like that. So I'm just going to let this heat up. Um, and when you're all using your waffle irons at home, 
if you need to put oil on it, then um, if you need to put oil on it, try to use a regular oil. It could be olive oil, vegetable oil, whatever, and brush it on as opposed to using the spray oil. Because if you use a spray oil on your waffle iron, over time, it builds up and it takes the coating off. So if you can avoid that in a pinch, go ahead and spray it. But I wouldn't try not to do it on a regular basis. Try not to go on a regular basis. So we're just waiting for it to heat up right now. And uh, I can move these two things out the way. I will probably need this. We'll put that right there. Okay, as soon as this heats up, we'll be fine. I will be putting it on here. Okay. All right. Thank you all so much for all those stars. Thank you all so much, so much, so much. I appreciate it. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome, awesome. The stand-up waffle makers change the whole game. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes. Hey, Mary, how are you? Thank you all for all those well wishes. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. You sure is. Thanks for telling me to check the strawberries. Thank you. Okay. And time to check the chocolate. Okay. Thank you so much for telling me to check those strawberries. I removed them from the freezer into the refrigerator. They're nice and cold. And so that's all I needed them to do was make sure they're super cold. So when I put them on here, they won't run everywhere and melt all the icing off. <laughs> so I'll leave them in the refrigerator. They can continue to get cold, but they won't freeze. So we're good now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, let's see. Jennifer is here and Pat is here. We are just waiting for our waffle iron now to say ready. It's on, but it's not heated yet. So we're waiting for it to heat up. And then we're going to make the waffles. Hey, 2%, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in. Thanks for coming. Thank you for the well wishes, 2%. Thank you. Haven't seen you in a long time either, 2%. Yes, awesome and amazing. Yes. Hey, Lucille, how are you? And Laurie and Barbara. Hey, D, how are you? Always Grim and Tom Daughter, how are you doing? Thanks for those stars, Cassandra. Thank you all so much. That's such a blessing. I appreciate it. I really do. Yes, yes, yes. All right, all right. Hey, Betty, how are you? Yes, 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 yes. We are waiting for it to just go ahead and heat up here. It's on. As soon as it heats up, I'm going to be making three. I should have enough batter for three. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I see Deborah Atkins and Pat is here. Yes, thank you, Shar, uh, Teresa, for those stars. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yes, and Patricia is here. Um, is that ready? Yeah, I think it's ready. I think it's ready. I think it's ready. Let me see if I can turn this around this way a little bit. Okay, let's see. That's right there for now. So let's make sure I have this up here. Okay. Woo. Hot. Okay, so. This is batter is awful thick. Okay, I'm trying to do this so you all can see <laughs> what I'm doing.
Okay. This is going to be one. Another thing you can do when you're making waffles, whether they're regular waffles or what I'm doing, anything. After you put your waffle batter in your waffle maker, do not close the top right away. Let it sit for maybe a few seconds, maybe a minute. I don't, I've never timed it, actually. Um, what you wanted to start doing before you close your top, and this does not work always, okay? Because, you know, as sure as I'm standing here, it won't work. That's just the way life happens. But <laughs> you want the bottom of the waffle to start baking before you close the top. What that does is typically it ensures that your batter does not run over. Okay. Now I have done that and I've waited and my batter still ran over. So I am putting my disclaimer out there. <laughs> but typically it doesn't run over so you'll have that mess to clean up. So I'm just letting it sit here. And you can kind of see when you're looking at it, you can kind of see that it starts to set. Once it starts to set, it rarely runs over. And I can see now mine is starting to set. So I'm going to go ahead and close the top. We'll see if it, it works. Okay. Okay, now how come I can't? Uh, oh, y'all see that? I told you, see? Did you see? It came out. It came out. <laughs> it came out. It came out good, too. See, look. Can y'all see that? I told you. Because I said it. Just because I said it, it, it came out. <laughs> if I hadn't said anything at all and just did it, it would not have come out. But that's okay. That's okay. I don't mind. I have a mess to clean up. That's okay. We, we can clean up the mess. I'm just going to let it run out, clean up the mess. <laughs> you all know, y'all know that's how life goes, right? <laughs> y'all know that's how life goes. Sure enough, if you if, if you're trying to say something's gonna happen, that's just like if any of you all have kids and you'd be like, Oh, my child never does that, they're so whatever. As sure as you say that, they do whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Or, or, or if you have pets, say if you have a dog and you say, Oh, my dog, my dog, he's so friendly, he never barks. You're talking to somebody, oh, my dog, so he never barks. And as soon as you say that, I'm like, woof, 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 all over the place. They just start barking up a storm. So it happens. Yeah. Hey, Chef Fine is wine. How you doing? Thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate you. Yes. Okay, so at least we have a tray up under there so it didn't hit my cutting board. Woo. Yes, yes, yes. I can't see if this light is on or not. We're going to give it a second or two anyway. Hey, Victoria, I need to get a waffle iron like that. Even, even if it gets messy. I know, even if it gets messy at times. Yes, yes. Hey, Patty Cake, how are you? Yes. Thank you so much, Court Ken. I appreciate that. Hey, Austin, thank you. Thank you for coming in. How you doing? How you doing? Ooh. I don't have a spatula either. Oh, but she's pretty. She's pretty, y'all. <laughs> oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. And what I am doing now is trimming it up so that hopefully, again, like the spill, that all of my edges will be nice and even as I get ready to ice. So I am taking off the little extra that comes out of the waffles. Okay. Go on the cutting board. I'll clean it off later. I'll show you all this as I get it out of here. Okay. 
And as you all saw, I did not spray my waffle iron, right? I didn't put any oil on it either. You don't need to. Uh, I'm gonna put this up here. Ooh, I feel like I need a piece of parchment paper or something. It'll be okay. First one, let's see here. I'm holding it so it won't slide on this. First one's out. First one's out. See how nice and pretty that is? No oil whatsoever. Your waffles will come out crispier. Uh, the texture will be a little bit firmer if you do not oil it. Um, you want to oil your you want to oil your, what is this thing called? Oh, periodically, not every time you use it. Almost how you season a cast iron skillet or something. Waffle irons, people spray them every time they do, it's gonna make your waffles soft, okay? It's gonna make them soft. Okay, so that's one out. And I am just getting the extra crumbs off of here that are in the inside from when I cut that edge off. You do not need any oil every single time that you are cooking a waffle. Okay, so we're gonna put our next one in. And I am putting it pretty much in the middle of the waffle iron, and then I will spread it out. My little handy dandy tool here. We already have one mess, so it doesn't matter if we have another mess. <laughs> and I can tell you this one's going to run over because I overfilled it. That's another thing. If you overfill it, it's running over. It just doesn't matter what you do. I'm still going to let it sit for a minute, so hopefully the mess won't be that big. Okay. I almost need to scoop some of this out because I really overfilled this one. Let's see here. There we go. That's a little better. Not much, but it'll work. Okay. So we're going to give this one a second to set. And then we'll close this top. Now, I need to get another plate or something to put the rest of them on because this is the first one. So we need to make sure we ice it um, without those being in the way. Yes, also says, I wonder could I do brownie batter? And you can put almost anything you want in waffle iron. You can put real cheese in here. You can put almost anything you want in waffle iron. Yes, sir. You sure can. Yep, you sure can. Hey, Mommy Tammy. Yes, yeah, good to know because I like, yes, stop oiling it. <laughs> Stop oiling it. And if you definitely, whatever your batter is, you definitely need oil in the batter. That helps to crispy it up too. Yes, it does. Yes. Hey, Joanna, how are you? Hey, Carolyn. Wonderful name you have. <laughs> yes. Hey, Char. Hey, thank you all so much for all the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. Yes, I do. Yes, Edith Hart says hello from, oh, welcome. Welcome to all the newcomers, whether you're over here on YouTube or Facebook. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate all of you all. Okay, time for us to close this and get our second best going. <laughs> that one didn't make such a, such a bad mess. Okay, let me grab something else. so that I'll have something to put the next ones on. Okay, I'll wait for this one. This smells delicious. It's gonna be yummy. It's gonna be yummy, yummy, yummy. And you know what else I like about this? You know what you else you can do? 
which I do a lot, a lot, and I'll probably do it more often now that my kids are all grown and pretty much gone. You, if you have a waffle iron, a waffle maker like this, especially the round kind, just make cake. <laughs> make a cake. If you don't want a big cake and you don't want all that cake around your house or whatever, because you might eat it or you don't eat it, use your waffle iron. Just use cake batter. Just use cake batter. Whatever kind, it doesn't matter. Whatever kind of cake it is, coconut cake, German chocolate cake, chocolate cake, red velvet cake. Put it in one water, take it out, ice it as usual. You can put regular cake mix in the waffle iron. That gives you a small one. That's how you get a small one. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go with the mess. Okay. Yes, I'm going to have to clean all this up so I can ice my cake, y'all. Yes, let's see. My icing is here. I have my icing already made, too. I did that, too, earlier. <laughs> This just sits here nice and stiff, which is good. I need that. Yes. Hey, Gwen. How are you? Welcome in. Welcome in. Yes. Awesome. Hey, Cynthia. How are you? Yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me. I appreciate that. Yes. And I have links on both Facebook side and I have one on YouTube side. At the top, it's pinned for my memberships. If you'd like to join the channel, we get lots of fun. And the same thing over here for my subscriptions, that link should be pinned as well. If you'd like to join us over there, nothing is required. And I do everything I normally do. Anyway, we just do fun stuff and stuff that I don't do on my actual open public channel. <laughs> Hey, Judy, thank you so much. Yes, MTM, good morning to you. Yes, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, I think it's ready. Let's see here. Can't tell. If it's not, one thing about a waffle iron, if it's not ready, it's kind of like a oven. If it's not ready, put it back. If it's not ready, close top and turn it back and, and rotate it back again. This looks nice and ready to me. So we're gonna do the same thing, get all this edge off of here so that we can preferably have one nice circle. Oh, thank you so much for that super chat. If you could only cook one dish every day for the rest of your life, what would it be? You can't cook or eat anything else, only that dish, cheeseburger. That's easy. Cheeseburger. I love, love, love cheeseburger. I love just ground meat. I can ground up ground beef in a skillet and just eat it. I didn't need any seasoning. Don't ask me why. I know that's crazy. Out of all the things in the world, I would choose a cheeseburger. Yes, that's what I would choose. I would choose a cheeseburger. Ah, there we go. A bit more of this off of here. Let's see here. Okay. So this one looks like it's ready to come out as well. Ooh. Our second one. And clean this off and get our third one done. Then I can get all this chocolate from everywhere. If you are making multiple waffles, whether they're just regular waffles or like what I'm doing, uh, as you take it out, if you find you have little cooked crumbs down in there, try to brush them out. That's what I'm brushing out now because as the next one cooks, it will burn and cook into the bottom or top of the next one. So you want to brush those all out, giving yourself a clean surface to work with so that it won't be messy. Okay. So, number three. Last one. Three layers. You can have as many layers as you want, but we're having three. <laughs> Let me see if I can not overfill this one. Let's see if that's enough. 
I don't know why I'm not using my own rule of you can always add, but it's hard to take away. Let's see here. Yeah, this is perfect. I'm gonna give y'all a little more scoop. Probably shouldn't, but I am. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let me sit. Let me go sit this over here out the way. Cleaning up some of this mess. Y'all gonna have some more in a minute. Okay, let's go ahead and close her down. Okay. And we're oozing out again, even though I put less in there. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, let's see what's going on. Uh -oh. Let's see what's going on. What's going on? Yes, yes. Also, I can't wait to see the finished result. Yes, we're, we're going to ice it up in a minute. This one's already cool. The ice, that's why I pre made the icing. We'd be here all day if I had to do the icing, do the combo, do everything. So I thought, okay, let me do a few things ahead of time. Hey, Jane, thank you so much. Yes, absolutely, Sophia. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Barbara, how are you? And Joel, hello, Natalie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Lovely store mannequin. All right. Cheeseburger has all the essential food groups. Bread? No, it does. It does. And I like to pile that. I love a lot of uh, lettuce or spinach. You know, main lettuce, iceberg lettuce, spinach. I don't care what's on it as far as the greens. If any greens on there, I like my pickles on there, my tomatoes. I like lots of onions. I literally put cooked onions. I saute my onions and I put raw onions on my burgers. Lots of pickles, demon pickles only. I don't like sweet pickles. It's all the sugar. Uh, <coughs> a little mayo. You're right. Mayo has the dairy, has the eggs in it, and then the cheese. You're right about that. You know what? You know what? Um, Lonely store mannequin. I never thought of it that way. But you are absolutely right. Thank you, Joanne, for that. Thank you. That's wonderful. Thank you for that emoji. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ooh, okay. Get this last one done. Clean up this mess and we can get ready to ice. Awesome. It says, oh, I love sweet pickles. Mm, I, don't, I don't care for, you know, I shouldn't say I don't care for sweet food. That would be not correct because I like, like, sweet and sour. It has some little sweet and sour, uh, different Asian cuisines. Love those. Love those. I love the heat, though, in a lot of dishes. That's why I like Indian food a lot as well. Um, I like Asian food. I like everything. I don't, Austin. I don't. Relaxing. How about that? Relaxing. Yes. Okay. Give another second or two. Get ready. Um, let's see. That jump to it. Actually, want to sit them on paper towels so that they won't sweat so bad. Directly on the plate. That will be fine. Okay, let's see here. All right. Third one is done. Okay, so my trimming off of here. 
you know what? I'm gonna let this one sit for just a minute longer. Just a minute. Just a minute. It wasn't as um, dark as the other two, so I'm gonna give it another second or two. Yes. Thank you, Nita Brown. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, Christina, you sure can. You should can, you can freeze them. Yes, you can freeze them. Hey, Veronica, thank you. Hey, Carolyn, Holly Blue is here, and Rita. Yes. Hey, Carla McFan, how are you? Thank you so much. Thank you, Francis. Yes, 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 yes. Nita says, you're welcome. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. Don't forget to thumbs up the stream if you have it on, uh, I won't say Yahoo. This is not Yahoo. <laughs> YouTube and Facebook. If you can give it a like. I would appreciate it. And share it out. Share it out. Share it out. Share it out. If you can. Okay. Let's see here. All right. That should get it much better. Okay. So I'm just going to take the edges from around here. Like I did before on the other two. Hey, that's my son coming. Uh -huh. Now I just said hello. I'm on live, and I just said hello. I told him that that was my son coming in the house. Uh -huh. Okay. This is Uh huh. Y'all hear that? That's my son playing with me. Okay, so I'm gonna get these edges off and clean this cutting board so we can go ahead and ice it. Oh, it's just, it's okay. It's not stuck. I'm uh -oh. just cutting the edges off here to get it to be hmm. even around. I was looking for this, guys. This is mine. <laughs> I moved and I was looking for this. <laughs> it was right in there where it's always been. So are you using cake batter, North Harbor? This is actual waffles, chocolate waffles. But you can. You can use cake batter in here. That's what I was just telling okay. you. Okay, so everyone, this is the last one. This is the last one. It came out perfect, just like the other two. So I'm going to move this waffle iron. Let me unplug it, move it, and clean off my cutting board so that we can go ahead and ice it. Yes. Okay. Right yeah, back. Put it in the freezer. Oh, no, I'm gonna start with that one. That's the first one I made, and I've been talking in between, so it's good and cool. But I'm just saying, still technically, when you're icing the cake, oh, yeah, it's awful cake. you're supposed to put the cake layers in the freezer before you ice it, yeah, and then level it off too. Which is okay, yeah, that's one good thing about it. Is you need help. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where to sit. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this off, guys. I just want y'all to understand how short she is. This is my son. They can't see you in Facebook. Wait, so which which camera? This is YouTube. Life? Both of them. That's YouTube. That's Facebook. They're both. Oh, I was like, which camera? Okay. They can't see me. See, this is my son. This is my baby son. Y'all hear that? Look at that. Look at that. This is my she's, baby. She's four eleven. I'm only five eight. He cooks too. This is the one. If you all have heard me say. I don't know if you've heard me say it in other lives or not about the, the one person that uh, cooks the steaks. That's him. The one person that cooks the steaks. <laughs> yes, they, I would always tell them that you have a, a very good palate and that you don't necessarily have to taste the food before you know what to put on it and you cook steaks professionally. I, I'm, a, I'm an extremely Excuse picky me. eater. So I'm an extremely picky eater. So I don't like a lot of food. There's a lot of stuff I don't like. There's a lot of stuff I didn't like growing up that she made. And so I learned what things taste like. So I know what it should taste like. Like I hate mashed potatoes. Y'all probably going to hate me in the comments for that. I hate mashed potatoes. But I know what it should taste like so I can make it. And I might taste it, but I know what's supposed to go in it. I know about how much to put in it. I can smell it. And I know that it's right. And then someone tastes it, they're like, I'm visiting Chef Pam today. <laughs> okay, so let me get this washed off. Is that, is that what you told me to call you, or do you have a stage name? Huh? No, that's just what's on my bio. I don't know if you have a stage name or not. I don't mm -hmm. want to call you out, outside of these things. Oh, Pam, it's Pam. I'm Pam here. I'm Pam there. I'm Pam everywhere. 
I'm Braylon. Okay. Hey, Trisha, how are you? Hey, ENSM. Thank you so much for the Get Real card. I have not emailed you yet. I did get it. Thank you so much for that uh, Get Real card. I really appreciate it, ENSM. Thank you so much. That was so wonderful. Get Real. That what happened so to you? Oh, I was thinking, what, what happened? Uh, okay, so we are going to get this one iced first. Um, I had laryngitis too, by the way. Huh? I had laryngitis too, by the way. Oh, okay. That's why my voice was gone for so long. It's still coming back. It's not perfect mm -hmm. yet, but. I'm going to draw hot water for my statue. Was it strawberry um top some top of strawberry syrup you put in there? I'm gonna put it in the middle after I cake on the real top of it. I don't want to put it in between the layers, it might get too much for you. For you? <laughs> I was gonna say it's gonna be a little I'll put the icing in between all the layers. Like yeah, I mean yeah, but I just I, that's why I was thinking like the, I thought that would be it would make it soft. Do it if you mixed it into the icing and then did it. Oh, no, like no, a marbling. No, but like, yeah, that would work. I thought you were putting it in like on each one. Mm -hmm. I was like, it's going to be soggy by the time you cut into it. Oh, just the icing on top. Okay, so if you are icing a cake, it is good to have a jar or bowl or something uh, <laughs> hot water so that you can wet your spatula and keep it moving smoothly in your cake. I just saw the Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. I just saw the. I just saw oh. the okay. And so she's up here. And I don't personally like a lot of icing like in between my layers. I do. Oh. Yeah, I did. And this is going to sink down in the holes. Uh, so you'll have some icing anyway as it sinks down. If you're doing this with the kids, you can continue doing battleship. Uh -huh. E square is a unit. That's true. Okay. I was making I was making a cake, and my roommate said he was. He said it's gonna taste like water. Because you were using the water. Yes. Oh. He said, it's gonna taste like water. That, but it doesn't. I'll yes, say, it doesn't yeah. taste like water when you use water on your spatula. It just helps you spread it. I'll say that water is, is going to be gone in a quarter of a second. Mm -hmm. And it's not that much more. A little bit more. Not that much more. Because I'm going to do the ice, the sides, and everything. You need a piece. piece. And I need one. to make sure I have some to decorate the top. The very top. Of the I'm yeah. just de decorating the outside so I can get the compote on the inside the middle. Put the what out. You still got milk out. I know. Just use it. It's okay. Just put don't it in the refrigerator for them. But it's in the spot where the compote is, too. Don't go bad. It's in the spot where the compote is. You have to find a place. Oh, oh where you at? Yeah, Man. that's why I'm like, I'm just going to use this. Okay, so now we got the first one done. We'll put the second one here. See, guys, it's coming together. Okay. Come together. And don't worry about when you put your thing in the water. Like my son just said, it is not sweet to make the cake watery. Unless you pour water on it. Exactly. Or you just over it. Mm -hmm. Also, a pro tip, guys. I'm getting this camera too. Oh, let me just say this before you say that. You need to get on this camera too. I just want to say this before he says whatever he's getting ready to say. I personally do not like to bake. 
Him, on the other hand, just like the steaks, he bakes. Really? Really? Well. I was going to say, like, <laughs> I, I'm, I am the... She doesn't, she doesn't like to bake. I, I don't want to say I'm the better baker. But, but, you know, history kind of shows the record. <laughs> but um, y'all hear that? <laughs> we used to play baseball with her, with her breast, with her uh, biscuits. Me, I, I have three siblings. I, I got three siblings, and we used to play baseball and softball in the backyard with her biscuits. I got a concussion once. It hit me it's right upside the head. Now y'all know that. Right in my temple. Y'all know that one. You sound right, right? So I'll call Michael. He ain't gonna say your biscuits is hard. Nope. <laughs> the baseball. Nope. Ashley, I'll say that. Ashley's in Egypt, I believe. Okay, so now we got the second layer done. Now we want to put on our top layer. Oh, yeah, the pro tip. Put toasted coconut in the in between the layers. Yeah, he likes coconut and stuff. So okay, chocolate and coconut, it, but... perfect combination. Yeah, you could. Chocolate and coconut, perfect combination. So I am actually going to ice the sides the whole nine yards. And I just need the top to be slightly covered in the middle, just slightly, because we are putting the strawberries in the middle. I'm going to decorate the edges of it. Matter of fact, let me ask the group chat. We have we have a group chat. It's called Brand and the Perry Three. So before I go forward and before I go uh, do the sides to make sure I have enough for my uh, decoration on the top, I'm going to fill up my. And I'm not the baker, so I'm not using a bag. I have a tool here that I'm getting ready to use to decorate it. Okay. That's all we need. Very thin layer on the top. That's that scripture. Don't want to tell me. That way I know I'll have what I want. So, because I don't have a lot in here. I thought I made more than that. We are not making any more. We're going to make do. This is what I'm going to use <laughs> to decorate the cake. So I need to fill it up. It's real simple. It's no, no big deal. You just, after you put it in here, then you get to press down on it. So I'm going to put some in here. I don't need a lot, actually. But I'm not sure I have enough for my sides. We're going to do it this way. I should have enough for the sides, but just in case. We are filling this up. Man, I really don't have enough of the sides, so we may not do the sides. We may just leave it like this and fix them up a little bit. I might. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Y'all think? Y'all think I should try to do the sides? Tell me. Put a five in the chat if you think I should do the sides. Put a five in the chat if you think I should do the sides. I don't think I have enough icing for the sides. Thank you. And we don't want to make you poor. <laughs> We're being lazy. Lazy. You got it. Yeah, uh huh. Okay, so let's see. Any fives in the chat? Any fives in the chat? Should I do the sides? Should I do the sides? That should be enough. I probably don't even need this much for the top. I should. Well, I can't decorate the top first. That has to be last. I should say she used the okay. five, 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 five. Thanks, Mary. Yes, I see one five. One five. Oh, I see more fives coming. No, don't do the sides. It's beautiful like that. <laughs> 
Wanda says five, no sides. I'm getting sides, no sides. What 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 would we do if we were in a you know bakery? Uh, make some more icing. Exactly. We find a way to make the sides. Mm -hmm. We gotta make more. So I'm just evening them out a little bit here. Well, man, you you put mayonnaise in your biscuits. That's a lot, man. Okay, you put mayonnaise in your biscuits. There's lots of recipes for mayonnaise in my biscuits, but no, I don't put mayonnaise in my biscuits. Not anymore. In Ashley says biscuits. you used to use mayonnaise in your biscuits. I actually don't know. I used to put ketchup in. in uh, <laughs> Why are you coming at her because she told you? No, she put mac and cheese, ketchup and mac and cheese. Come on now. She said with mayonnaise. Okay, so let me get a knife. This one will do. It's right here. All right, let's see. I got lots of fives in here. I got lots of fives. I think I have enough in there. I think I have enough in there to do it. So we're gonna try, y'all. We're gonna try, we're gonna try. Let me use this. I only need a thin layer of it anyway, so. Just turn around and don't show them the back. <laughs> if you only get half. Just look, they can't hear me. This is good. Okay. I, 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 so I that know. works. That works. I have enough to go around. I might have enough. It wouldn't take me but a second to make some more, y'all. Just so you know. Are you trying to decorate the bottom and the top with this? Um... No, just. Oh, circle around the top. I'm about to say because you that's use a little too much icing in there. You don't need that. Much I know. Icing that's why I'm going to get some out of there if I need it. I just need, you know, a few things around the top to hold it to, to encase the, to encase the uh, strawberries. Okay, so Even this is working pretty good, guys. I heard you. I was talking. To you. No, you good. She said it with mayonnaise. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So it's coming out. Jeez. It's coming out. And I probably don't need as much as I have in there. I'm cover up all the nice little holes there. Trying to keep the bottom layer, uh, the very bottom one, without any on there. Okay, so I'm going to squirt some of this back in here. We'll see. Just a little bit. Come on. That's, that's not how it goes. That's not how it goes. I, know, I just want to get a little out. I'm saying but you could do it. Hmm. This is the this is what you push down. Oh yeah, I know. So are you breaking it? I'm not breaking it. That builds up pressure when you do it like that. Oh. Okay. You build up the pressure. It it, it God, that's why it's cracked on the thing. Mm hmm The 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 part where you put the attachment nozzle in. Mm hmm It's cracked because I was used when I first got it, I didn't know how to use it. I was pushing that top piece instead of the trigger, mm -hmm. and I put too much pressure and I cracked it. Oh, okay. Okay. Get this dropped a little icing. Want to get it off the silver part. There we go. Clean as you go, it saves you. Okay. We're almost, almost all the way around here. Let's see. 
All right. And after I get the, let me see here. So now that I have half of it done, I'm going to go ahead and make, I'm going to go ahead and make part of this topping here. So that we'll see, because I got three fourths of it done, what I have left in here. Oh, hold it. Huh? I was going to tell you a better way to hold it to do it. Nah, everybody got to do what's comfortable, plus my fingers still hurt, so I'm good. One of these times you're gonna have to let me do something on your own. Sure. Special. I have a lot about once a week, so okay. So I got some more left in here. <laughs> it goes to the sides. Yes, I still have some more in there. A little bit. This is probably enough. We don't have to bake off. I don't know about a bake off. Maybe a cook off or something. A, a cake decorating yeah. context. No. Why? Because I don't like baking. I like baking. I know you do. I don't like cooking, but you like cooking. Mm -hmm. I love cooking. I don't. I, I don't. Agree. I like cooking. It's just such a longer process, and you have to be attentive the entire time for most, not most things, but a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Versus baking, I get the right measurements, I pop it in the oven, I'm free for 30 minutes. Yeah. Then once I take it out of the oven, I'm free for another 30 minutes to an hour. Okay, we're almost ready for our topping, guys. I think that's why I like You don't have to be right there all the time yeah like I, I, I get high easy so like being in the kitchen under the stove under the oven like by the time i'm done cooking i don't even want to eat i've done that before especially when i'm like if i'm making food for myself that's why when i make food for myself i don't make these crazy nice meals i don't make steaks and all that stuff except for rarely like i just eat ramen because but if i make a real meal by the time i'm done cooking i don't want i'm not hungry. i'm going to sleep <laughs> i'm going to sleep mm -hmm. I want to just sit down for a second. Oh, you don't have to cook something. Just a minute. Okay, this last part down here, and we made it. Some here. Okay. Ha, ah, our side. We made it, guys. We made it. Looks pretty good. Okay. Can you pass me that um, strawberry stuff? It'll cost you. And here. I'll let you put the milk back in there. That cost you about eight fifty, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So... This is just strawberries and a little sugar, a little lemon juice. We're going to put it right in the top. I'm going to straining it just a little. Matter of fact, let me get a different spoon. <clears throat> and since I'm not using this spoon, mmm, delicious. Using this one. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this right in the top. Then we're gonna drizzle it with chocolate. Damn, what? 
<laughs> this is a lot of sugar. So it's pretty. This is a lot of decoration. I think that's that much sugar. Oops, I have to get that off. No, I'm more of a salt person. Mm -hmm. And, ooh, this is nice. I'm going to have to bring this around so you all can see it. One more thing. You should do a live eating with the uh, fried chicken ice cream. With the what? There's a, you should do the live where you eat the fried chicken ice cream. Oh. I'll get it for us. It's 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 it, it, it's, 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 it's worth the price for a video, but it's it's not worth the price to get on a regular basis. It's ice cream that's like it literally looks like a chicken wing. So oh, I think I've seen it. But it's like eight dollars or nine dollars for just the one. Mm -hmm. guys now we're going to drizzle with some uh thank you for all those hearts and those stars oh my god look at those stars thank you so much move this out the way i didn't use this after all gotta clean up first gotta clean up guys Let me just sit back there and use it. Ooh, okay. Now I'm gonna drizzle chocolate across the top. My son's telling me that's too much sugar. I'm drizzling on chocolate. I like the presentation. She has a very strong sweet tooth. No, you know, when I have it, I don't have it often or I don't eat a lot, but when I want it, I want rich and thick. And I've chocolate. never really had a sweet tooth, guys. Like I just I, I probably eat the least amount of desserts and sweets in the family. I just I'm not a sweet guy. No, nah, y'all know that ain't right, right? They don't know me. Okay. Hmm. I'll get you a second phone so you can do Instagram at the same time. Okay. See, this is why we try it on paper towel first, guys. I don't know why it's not coming yeah. out. Let me run some hot water on it. Is that a new bottle? No, it's just filled with milk and chocolate. Ooh, good catch. I just filled with milk and chocolate up. The bottom of it is melted, but the top apparently was not because it wasn't in the hot water. I don't want that pop in the microwave for five seconds. Yeah, I could. It's melted in that lid. That's what I think. Don't know where. You can't get that one up. Huh? Sorry about that, guys. We should be good to go now. Hopefully, we should be good to go. 
Yep, it's coming out. Okay. I'm just going to put it around the edges here. Should I do that way? I'm just going to do it on the side here. Mission accomplished, guys. Oh, let me see if I can show this to you all up close. Can you see the top? Can you guys see the top? I can't tilt it too much. Yeah. Can you see the top? Yes. This is our chocolate waffle cake with cream cheese icing, strawberry compote, and a little chocolate drizzle. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I am not going to cut it for two reasons. I'm going to cut it later. <laughs> and I am going to take a picture of it like this because I'm going to put it as my thumbnail on the YouTube side. And I don't know if I want it cut with a thumbnail or the thumbnail as a whole. So I have to wait to take both pictures. So that is it. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you, ENS. I appreciate that. Thank you, Wanda. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, Jennifer and April. Yes. Thank you, Tony and Dovey. Awesome. Diana. Yes. Hey, Judy. Looks great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. 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 Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the stars and the super chats. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm not going to keep you all. I want you all to have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. I'm going to enjoy my day. And uh, awesome, April. That's wonderful. Look at you. They named you April. You were born in April. Yes. Hey, Hot Pepper. Yes, I'm going to try this with the grand. That would be wonderful to do with the grandkids. Yes. Yes. Remember, you can use regular waffle, make, waffle mix. You can use cake mix. You can use any kind of mix, any kind of mix. You can make sweet potato waffles. You can put sweet potatoes in there and make waffles out of them. Sweet potato cake, anything, anything. You can switch it up to your ingredients that you like, you know, whatever that may be. You can do blueberries, anything. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Uh, thank you, Margaret. I appreciate it. Thank you, John. Yes. Awesome, awesome, and amazing. Okay. I'm going to let you guys go. Love you guys, and I'll see you soon. The good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. Bye-bye. As I say, as I say, y'all don't got to go home. Look, look, as I say, y'all don't got to go home, but you got to get out of here.